there's probably not a day that goes by that I don't have to clarify for someone how probiotics like acidophilus work. If you misunderstand how this product works, you are very likely to end up spending a lot more money on healing your bowel than you need to, as well as possibly, very possibly, fail to heal your bowel and body in the first place. I did explain how probiotics work in my book, This Works, Crutches Don't, on pages 167 and 169. So you can go back and review that, but I still find that everyone who's read the book still is, is confused. So I'm going to try to explain it another way. Um, I think that the main confusion, honestly, doesn't come from the lack of explanation. I think it comes from the fact that lots of people are wrongly marketing these products and misleading you into thinking they do something they don't. It's, it's in their interest to sell them that way, market them that way. And I realize and respect that it's a big job for me to come along and kind of take tons and tons of advertising and marketing and try to undo that. But I'm going to try because it's vital for your success. So let me state again that probiotics like acidophilus are not alive. They are not live bacterium marching into your gut. That is not what they are. Rather, what they are, or what they do, is when they go into your gut, they help feed the good bacteria that are there. Which, by the way, the berberine and grapefruit seed extract in the bowel strength does as well. I'm going to explain this better in a second. Again, bottom line is acidophilus like probiotics and the berberine and grapefruit in bowel strength do the exact same thing. There's zero advantage, in fact, tons of disadvantage of you thinking that only probiotics can heal your bowel and that somehow you're missing something by doing bowel strength. That is emphatically not the case. So let's go back to explaining how this works. Um, what I like to say is rather than thinking that you're putting bacteria into your gut with acidophilus, you are, it, it, it's kind of like you're investing money in an interest-bearing account. Um, so rather than, let's say you have $10 billion in the, in the bank, you're not every day when you take probiotics adding 10 billion more dollars to that account. In, in which case, if you were, after 100 days, you'd have a trillion dollars and your money would be adding up super duper duper fast. In this analogy, if you think you're putting 10 billion bacterium into your gut every time you swallow a probiotic that has 10 billion um, cultures, you too are going to dangerously and wrongly think that very, very quickly in a short period of time, you're going to have tons and tons of good bacteria in your gut. That's not how it works. Rather, think of probiotics like acidophilus as well as the berberine and grapefruit as um, investment vehicles. And as I tell clients, there's many different ways to invest your money. You can invest it in gold, real estate, money market accounts, futures, you know, all that stuff. And um, they're just a different investments. It's just different ways to earn money. So. The probiotics like acidophilus are just different ways to heal your bowel than the uh, berberine and grapefruit seed extract that's in the bowel strength. So rather than, again, when you take a probiotic, you're not putting 100 billion or, excuse me, 10 billion new bacteria in the gut. Rather, you are causing the bacteria that are there to grow and multiply. So again, we're not putting $10 billion in the bank every day. Rather, if we have $10 billion, we might be earning 5% interest on that $10 billion. So at the end of 100 days, we don't have a trillion dollars, which you would have if you put $10 billion in every day for 100 days. Um, rather, if you're earning 5% interest on that money, after 100 days, you have 10 billion, 5 million bacteria, which is inordinately smaller and less than if you think you're just adding in all these good bacteria. Um, I hope that makes sense. So again, you're not putting millions in your bank account every day when you take a probiotic or this product. Rather, you're causing the ones that exist there to grow and multiply at a percentage. And as a result, it takes a lot longer to get to a trillion dollars if you're multiplying the existing money by a percentage rather than if you're just dumping in tons of money every day. I hope I haven't confused you even more with all that. Um, anyways, so bottom line is this. Again, number one, bowel strength and probiotics do the exact same thing. If you choose to use probiotics like acidophilus, you will spend hundreds, easily thousands of dollars more 
to heal your bowel than if you use bowel strength. I order this directly. It's a specially made product for me and I pass the huge savings on to you that is incurred by me not having to have a middleman into this whole um, you know, manufacture of the product. Number two, maybe even worse than the money that you're going to waste if you use probiotics versus bowel strength is the fact that you're going to think, my God, you know, I've been putting in hundreds of billions of bacteria. Surely after a few months, my bowel should be healed. I had an old client who made that comment to me the other day. So I know lots of you still wrongly think that. If you think you can heal your bowel in three months, which is absolutely not possible whatsoever, you're going to fail to heal your bowel and you're going to fail to succeed with this program the way that you can in the way that you should, in the way that you deserve to. So I emphasize all this and explain it again. This program is for you. I'm done with this. I haven't taken something like this in 20 years. So this misunderstanding isn't hurting me. It hurts you when it exists. If you want to discuss this more, if I've confused you, please let me know next time you talk to me or see me. But I really do hope that it has helped and that you, again, get that bowel strength and probiotics like acidophilus do the exact same thing and you're going to save thousands of dollars if you choose to heal your bowel with bowel strength instead of probiotics. Okay, I hope that helps.